and this ceremony will be a little different than in previous years, but we felt it important to continue this tradition despite the uncertainty. I always close my remarks with the slogan borrowed from the Connecticut Police Memorial Foundation, which is never forget. It's been a difficult year plus for us here at the Nohawk Police Department, and with all that we've gone through, it is more important than ever that we never forget those that have given themselves for this community, as well as those we have lost. It is easy to become complacent and focus on the problems and issues at hand and lose touch with the past. But it's so important that we do not let that happen and continue to honor these important people as well as their memory. So I thank you for joining us today and helping us never forget. I and all the members of the Norwalk Police Department appreciate your support. What a devastating thing it is when a family has to be notified that their husband, their wife, their son, their daughter has given his or her life in the line of duty. You know, this has been a very, very challenging year indeed. As many people quarantined at home, stayed working from home, didn't go out, the men and women of the, of the police department, and yes, the men and women of our fire department, continued to serve their communities, keeping us safe while we slept, putting their lives in harm's way by going to medical calls and other calls where they were exposed to other people who may or may not have infected them with the COVID-19. And so when I first got up here, the thing I said was it's so difficult to find the right words because thank you seems woefully inadequate. But thank you to the men and women of the police department, the men and women of our first responder teams who keep us safe. May they always stay safe. May they always return home to their loved ones at the end of their tour of duty. Sergeant Frank S. Stratton served the community of Nawa for 28 years, died in the performance of police duties October 14, 1930. Shortly after 5 a.m. on October 14, 1930, Sergeant Stratton and Officer Paul McGrath were on patrol in the area of East Avenue and Westford Avenue when they noticed a suspicious motor vehicle. Upon stopping the vehicle, it was discovered that the two men inside, both uniformed Marines, were AWOL and had the stolen this car. The two men were taken into custody. As Sergeant Stratton was taking the suspects to his patrol car, he was struck by a motor vehicle which was speeding on Westport Avenue. Officer McGrath pursued and arrested the operator of the vehicle which had struck Sergeant Stratton. Sergeant Stratton was transported to North Hospital where he later succumbed to his injuries. Sergeant Stratton was 64 years old at the time of his death. Sergeant Stratton was advised by, survived by his wife Elizabeth and his daughter Lavinia. Officer Sherelle Gordon served the community of Norwalk for 12 years, died in the performance of police duties June 20th, 1962. Officer Sherelle Gordon was monitoring traffic at a construction site on Richards Avenue. 
He was struck and killed by a construction vehicle that was backing up. As a result of this tragic event, legislation was enacted which required audible warning devices on trucks while backing. Officer Gordon was 37 years old at the time of his death. Officer Sherell Gordon was survived by his wife Margaret and their three children, Sherell, Jacqueline, and Ralph. Sergeant Nicholas Farah served the community of Norwalk for 19 years, died in the performance of police duties July 9, 1971. Sergeant Farah was shot and killed on July 9, 1971, while attempting to arrest two armed robbery suspects. The two men had robbed the West Norwalk branch of the Connecticut National Bank shortly before Sergeant Farah observed them traveling on Connecticut Avenue. Sergeant Farah attempted to take the suspects into custody. Gunfire erupted, which left Sergeant Farah and one of the suspects fatally wounded. Sergeant Farah was 45 years old at the time of his death. Sergeant Farah was survived by his wife, Violet, and his three sons, Nicholas Jr., Gary, and Randy. Officer Marco Carius served the community of Noah for two years. Died in the performance of police duties March 20th, 1982. On March 20th, 1982, Officer Carius was traveling on a roadway in Danbury after completing his undercover investigative duties. He was assigned at this time to the Statewide Narcotics Task Force and was returning a police vehicle to the State Police Garage in Westport. He was involved in a serious motor vehicle accident and his vehicle struck a pole. Officer Carius sustained multiple significant injuries to which he would later succumb. Officer Carius was 26 years old at the time of his death. He was survived by his wife, Gloria, and his daughter, Marisol. Let us pray. Almighty God, as we close, I pray for the ones who run into danger so that others may avoid it. For those that hold the broken, for those that meet the dark side of humanity, for those that keep us shielded from it all. Almighty God, you see their compassion, their purpose, and their will to serve that never fades. May you see their courage, their sacrifice, and their heartaches. Almighty God, I ask that you look upon our heroes, our champions. May you abide with them, never leaving or forsaking them. May your peace be in them. May your face shine upon them. God before them, God beside them, and God at their six. May God bless you all now and forever. Amen.